Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. Today is Friday. Happy Friday morning to you. I hope that your day is going well. My morning is going good. I got up. I'm getting a lot of my work done on my computer. I've been cleaning out my phone, weeding things out. I have so many different recipes and suggestions from you guys. And so I finally grabbed all of them, put them in a folder on my laptop so that I can look over them the next couple weeks to kind of plan out some dinners. For. It's like people will give suggestions or I'll take a picture when we were in Michigan. I went through cookbooks of my mom's and grandma Sandy's and there's just so many and I'm like, okay, I gotta do something with these. So grab them all, put them on a folder on my um, laptop and then what I wrote down to like look at them the next week so I can get some ideas to make for dinners. But today is gonna be a Gather Your Fragment Friday along with headed for a field trip day. So Gather Your Fragments, I usually make enough meals for today and for the entire weekend, but gonna do it a little bit different. I'm still gonna gather my fragments, using up what I have in my home, trying to kind of um, use different things in my freezers and fridges that are gonna kind of go to waste, knowing that I have to kind of use them up today. So right now I'm gonna make some breakfast. The recommendation was making hash browns. So I thought, okay, I can make hash browns. So I've got these hash browns. And so I thought I would just fry these over here on my pan on the stove. And then I was thinking, what kind of meat can I do? Well, I have hot dogs and there's like enough to do like, like there's like 10 hot dogs here. And I thought, you know what? Instead of doing it like cooking over the fire or doing a dinner, cause there's not really enough for a dinner. I thought I'm gonna chop some of these up and we'll cook those as well. The kids wanted everything separate. So I'm gonna do those separate and then um, do some eggs as well. And then they can just kind of make their own plates as they want. And then I was wanting to do some, I think I had a fresh meal one time and it was a bunch of roasted vegetables. I had some steak and it had a fried egg on top and I thought that was delicious. That sounds so good right now, but I don't have any steak and that's okay. I can do the eggs, but I have um, asparagus. This has to get done with something. And so I thought I'll roast this and then I've pulled out, got a couple peppers here to use that when we're shopping. And then I've got some little bit of frozen vegetables here. So I'm gonna put those on a cookie sheet, do wash, cut them up, wash them and put those on a cookie sheet and then roast those in the oven. And then I'll do a little bit of that stuff and then I'm gonna make a smoothie today. That's gonna be our big breakfast brunch before we get out the door and then the kids will pack um, snacks. Maybe they'll pack a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I don't know, whatever they wanna take on their little outing today. And then we're gonna go to the apple orchard, which will be a nice day today. And then we're gonna come back and make dinner tonight. So, and then we've gotta throw school in there, all the other things we gotta do as well for our day. So you guys ready for a great Gather Your Fragment Friday? All right, let's start making breakfast. First, what am I gonna do first? Let's get the potatoes cooking on the stove. Does that sound good? All right, let's go. Okay, that's gonna start cooking. I'm gonna slice up my peppers and then also chop off the top part of my asparagus and then just put in a cookie sheet with the frozen vegetables, mix it all in with olive oil and I'll get some of that good seasoning. That's um, badea, badea seasoning, salt and pepper. It's delicious, so good little breakfast. Real simple, just throw any vegetables. Yes, you can roast frozen vegetables. These are the ones here. While that is cooking, I'm gonna slice up my hot dogs. Maybe I'll put those in the potatoes. Can I do that? I might do that. Maybe I'll just fry them with the potatoes. That'll actually work. And then look, and I'm gathering up more fragments. So let me slice these up and I'll just put them in there. I decided to start my eggs over here because it's getting closer to like when the kids are going to get up here, so I want to have this finished. So let me just fry some eggs. Just simple, just going to do six eggs because that's all that will get eaten. I'm 
yourself cooking, which is a good thing. So it's nice to get back to doing meals like this. We went through different seasons in life, like where I started out and this is how we cooked all the time. Every morning we'd have a breakfast. I didn't like doing big breakfasts in the morning when the, a few years ago because I was so tired in the morning. So I would always make something beforehand or have a freezer meal. And that worked out really good too. And then it's like, we just went through a phase where like everybody just wanted cereal and they didn't want anything else. And then they weren't really hungry right away in the morning. So they wanted, you know, just to wait for a little bit. So I was kind of like, uh, you know what? You go through seasons. You do what you can do. So sometimes having a fresh breakfast is good. Sometimes cereal is good. Sometimes a freezer breakfast is good. It's like you have to do what works for you and your family and your current situation because only you know what is going to be best for your family. That's the key. So that's what I'm doing here. Making breakfast for my family. Everybody's going to enjoy it. We'll get up, um, get the kids up here in a few or they're waking up right now. And then we will... Um, do our school stuff together that we're going to do and then we have chores that we get done and then have brunch and then we'll head out the door. I'm going to go look at my list over here. So what I do is I have a list for each day of the week knowing what I got to do. And Tuesday, I don't think the vacuums all got cleaned out so I'm going to just erase this and put up Wednesdays. have on there vacuums clean out so the only thing I have to do is clean my desk area which is pretty clean we don't really have to um, do anything over there I'm just erasing my thing over here what to do with breakfast that the kids wanted they said to do um, smoothies with cocoa powder so I'm like okay I can do that so anyways this is right here for today this is what we'll focus on doing in a little bit when everybody gets up I'm also let me look at my list tonight's gonna be hamburgers and baked beans and watermelon easy so all right eggs are frying ready to flip here we are the vegetables came out of the oven here they look good so i'm gonna make my plate i am hungry this morning sometimes i'm not too hungry until lunchtime but i am a little hungry this morning so i'm gonna do some veggies here and then I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do some hot dogs and potatoes here. So I'm gonna go like this. That'll be good on there. Delicious. And then an egg. Do two eggs. Perfect. This right here, easy breakfast. And then um, if I want to put something on like salsa or something, I might just eat a plain. So I'm gonna eat this. We're gonna do our group time together. Not show you that. And then we'll be heading out the door and go to the apple orchard. Completely forgot the smoothie. Let me mix this up. Okay, we made it up to the apple orchard now, so let's go enjoy some beautiful views. Look at all the fun stuff we saw in here. Little cute things. Look at all the gourds. Those are fun. Oh, these are all like different birds. Oh, and turtle shells. Look oh, at all that. Look at oh, there's a snake's one. Look at the snake's thing. Where? Snake skin right here. Look at all of the little things. That's kind of neat. The beehives. Yep. What is that from? I have no idea. Some kind of animals. All the stuff they found in their area here. You do? All the honey. So they've got a little, look at this, a little gem mine right here. Right here, it comes all out, and the kids could mine the little gems. That's really neat. Look at the ducks right there. <laughs> those are cute. Do you like those ones? Oh, that's the goose. All the fun. There's always a better way of getting rid of it. There's Steven. 
Climbing up the tree. That is a little soft. Where are you going there, Steve? Walking stick. Oh, there's the apple cannon. We brought some quarters. Did you put it in? We got some feed right here. Let's go. Look how fun. Is he eating? Hands. Shade, you guys haven't seen anybody in forever. I feel like you guys are absent. I know it's weird. It's been weird. I it's told you. It's like I have school or something. If they are. They are busy. So we did. We <laughs> took. An, they are busy. We took a nice little break today and went to the Apple Orchard. It's really fun. So that was fun. Got to visit Gosh, with some so friends. Fun. So I just got those clips there. Simple and easy because we were enjoying ourselves. So now we're gonna go in. It's like two o'clock. Yep. So now I told everybody. So let's meet for school like at four or five. Yeah. So I think we're gonna do dinner and then school, like dinner and a movie, but dinner and school. So we're gonna go take a break because I have my shoes on and my feet are in so much pain because it's like the first day to wear like closed shoes. <laughs> I feel like, I'm like, ouch, I need my flip flops. <laughs> So I know, where are my tacos? Where's the tacos? So, because it's freezing today, it was, it's getting nice yeah. out, but it was pretty chilly. So we're gonna go and take a little break, breather, and then I'm gonna start making dinner, and then we're gonna um, do school. So it's been about two hours since we got home. So what I did is went inside, and then everybody kind of dispersed. Everybody's tired, everybody's tired from the day, tired from the week, and then you know what I did? I laid on my couch, and I closed my eyes and took a nap, and I'm like, can I take a nap? I can take a nap, right? On a Friday, can I take a nap? I took a nap, so it was good. Rest, get a little catnip, and I want to sleep too long because then I won't go to bed tonight, but it was good. I got up super early today. The dogs are coming like there's something over here. Um, got up super early today, so it was a really early start for me, so it was good to take a nap today. So got myself a little nap, and I'm like, I need to get out of bed to get my day rolling here, my afternoon, because I still have a whole day planned, basically, that I have to do. So what I'm gonna do is I came outside and I'm at my smoker here, and I'm turning it on right now, and I think I'm gonna do, or I don't think, I know I'm gonna do burgers tonight, so that'll be really simple. I'm gonna do probably double the burgers. I'm thinking we have like 16 buns, so I think I'm just gonna do 16 burgers. I might even just cook a few more. I might actually do that. There's like 18 hamburgers. I think there's hamburgers. 18 hamburgers and we'll just cook all of them. That way I can chop them up and use them for in breakfast foods or something. What are you doing there, Ruby? She's like, I am just catching anything. What you doing? She'll look at Ruby. She's like, I'm going that way. Okay, she's going back on the deck. But we may have a bear study. Maybe a bear will come because they will smell the hamburger. We have one that's been coming down usually every day every other day it's been just traveling along the front of the yard here and so there was one yesterday and it just went over ruby she'll howl she won't like attack it but she'll howl to like bark and let it go away so maybe it will come we will see with the um with the smoker when it's smelling the burgers out here maybe it will tempt the bear to come up here <laughs> i don't know we'll see but anyways this is gonna go i'm just heating this up here getting it on its smoke cycle and then i'm gonna put the burgers on here and just leave it go inside and then i'm gonna do um potatoes in the air fryer I think that will be good. Just do like oven fries and then, or oven fries, you know, potato fries in the air, air fryer fries. That's what I want to do. Sorry, I'm tired. I just woke up. And then I've got a watermelon to cut up and we've got pickles and cheese and lettuce. It's a simple, easy burger night. So we're going to do that. And then the rest of our evening is going to be school. So Friday night, we're going to do school. That's good. We can do that. So what I'll do is uh, get out our school stuff and get everything that we need and then uh, sit down, have our group time, get that finished and everybody will do their individual work and get that all finished up and then we'll call it a night and it'll be a nice end to our week. So it's been good. 
good day. Tired. I'm like tired. It's Friday. It's okay. <laughs> so this is starting to smoke right now, which is good. So I'm gonna let it smoke. A few more minutes here. That's the great thing about the smoker. I love my smoker. We had a smoker and then we had a grill as well for a long time. And um, I thought, oh, I'll just keep the propane grill. No, I like the smoker. The only bad thing is if there's no power, you don't have any uh, anything to cook on, obviously. But we, which is no big, I mean, it's very rare that we have to worry about cooking outside. We have a propane in the house, so I'm not worried too much about um, not having any cook on if the power goes out, but because the propane does work even if the power goes out. But I thought, oh, maybe I'll keep that so we can cook something on. No, and actually never do cook anything on it. Love the smoker. Love to be able to cook things on this. And it just, it does easy. It doesn't burn. I can just put it out here like I'm putting it on 300 degrees. And it's just going to heat up. And then I'm going to uh, put the burgers on it and let it do its thing. So the only bad thing is this part, if this gets wet right here where the pellets go, it's like, watch out. Like there was one time that it kept popping the breaker. I'm like, what is going on? And then um, what had happened is this, these chips, if they get wet or you get the bottom of the bag and they get like all broken apart, like sawdust basically, and it gets clogged in the auger. So when we were, on vacation, look at that thing is smoking away. We were on vacation um, and we came back and there had been water that had gotten in there because it just rained nonstop here. And so um, everything was real moist. And so I was cooking the other day and I was like, ugh, everything is stuck. So I actually brought, last time I just said, I did, just had to do it twice. Last time I just took like a stick, like a metal rod, and pushed it down there and it got it all out. Well, then I went and got my shop vac. Hello, my shop vac. It sucked out all the sawdust. That worked so great. So get your shop vac out and suck out all the, the dry pet, um, little pellets in there and then just uh, put them, you know, fresh ones in there. So perfect. That's some smoke and stuff in there. That's like a lot of smoke. I was like, that's a lot of smoke there, but it's okay. <laughs> it's making me sneeze. It's okay. It's reaching temperature. It just uh, burned off right away because I cleaned it out last time. Smoking away, heating up real quick, getting real warm. My burgers are up there. I'm going to get them so I can put them out here. It is a beautiful day. Look at these flowers. These are just gigantic here. They got so big this year. Just huge. I gotta cut those down. I'll be doing that this fall. So I'm gonna go in. I'm just making sure that temperature is going up and it is. It's going up. It's at 200. It goes kind of real quick. So you should probably wait till it gets hot and then put the burgers on, but that's okay. So this is gonna cook. We're gonna go in and finish up and it's been a good day. It's been a great day. Good way to end. Not to end because I still gotta keep going, but even though my whole day is still like not ending yet but we still have a whole day yet it's been a good day it's been a great day today so let's go in go wash some potatoes and then we'll chop them up and put them in the air fryer So got all that real simple and done. So I just pulled everything out that we're gonna have for us. We have hamburger buns. I might have to put them in the freezer. Can I toast these? Should I toast them? Do you toast a hamburger bun? I should. Or at least put them in the microwave or something. We'll see. So we got buns here. And then I've got ketchup, got mustard, a little bit, miracle whip, sliced pickles, cheese, and I also have um, dairy free cheese. And pickles my kids will eat these a lot let me open this and then i thought i'd get up with these ones these are i feel like i should save these garlic and dill green beans maybe i'll save these i'll save these for like a nice movie night we'll put those aside 
we'll save those for that. And then I have lettuce here, and then I'm just gonna slice an onion. And I know I don't have like real tomatoes, like big ones, but I do have little ones. So I'm just gonna slice these in half. And you can basically put a bunch of these around and make like a tomato, <laughs> a big one for your burger. This is perfect. The beans are done and I've got this watermelon. So I'm gonna slice the watermelon. This was a really good watermelon, nice and sweet, end of the summer. Still good, I'm gonna slice it up so we can eat it tonight. Here is my little spread, so now all I have to do is wait for the potatoes and the burgers. I'll check on those in a few minutes. Actually, I should go check my burgers right now. Let me run and check them right now. That's the beauty of the smoker. If I didn't even get out there, they would just still continue to cook, which is good. So then what I'm gonna do tonight, we have our Try Treats box. This is really good. It's not a sponsored video, but they do provide us with a box, and my kids enjoy trying the treats out from different countries and around the world to be able to just experience different snacks and stuff from things. Very cool, I, like genius idea. I'm like. What a great idea. I remember being back in school and then like we would have like a taste testing day and we, you know, explore country and we try to make foods like that country. Well, how cool you can just get a box delivered right to your house with that. So this month our box is from the United Kingdom, which is pretty cool. So this is pretty neat. So we're also, they give you like little cards and they give you, you know, just different information about it. it tells you what's in your treat box, which is really neat. So what I'm gonna do is just put them out here on the papers and then we have dinner, everybody can take some for a snack afterwards and have a little treat with their dinner and then we'll be able to talk about it when we do school today, real easy. This I'm gonna lay out. This looks really good. I love trying these before the kids get here. Very cool. This is like real shortbread. I gotta try that. That is so good. And then I tried chips are one of my favorite. This one right here. This is flavored with a unique blend of roasted barley and hops. That's really good. The shrimp cocktail flavor. I probably shouldn't eat that one. And this is just cheddar ones. These are really good. Mm. The rest look really neat too. The gummies, the randoms, it says. From ping pong paddles and paint brushes to snowflakes and saxophones, you'll get millions of possible random sweet combinations. You'll never know quite what you're gonna get. So these are different flavors. This looks like some milky bar. I'm assuming chocolate. Shortbread, these are a peanut thing. I bet you these are really good too. Go try a little piece. Really good. And then this one is like an orange one. Like orange chocolate, I bet you is really good. Mine's even a chocolate orange. Pretty good. These things look really neat too. Oh, they're gumdrops. If you haven't tried Tri Treats before, get yourself some Tri Treats. If you use my name, Amy Marion, they will give you 15% off your first box. Very cool. All right, I'm gonna go check. My burger should be almost done. Get the fries and then the kids will be able to try some and then they can let you know what their favorite food is. We have an easy dinner, under an hour, everything's finished. Let me share with you what we ended up with. They'll start down here and they'll make their burgers, their buns, and any kind of condiments that they like right here. Got the dairy-free cheese, regular cheese, onions, lettuce, and tomatoes. Potatoes are really good right here. We've got some baked beans and I've got watermelon, which is delicious. And then they can come on over here and they can grab all their fun little snacks to try right here. But how neat, just a fun little fun end to our week and a neat little meal. I will come back after we get all our food and let you know which one was everybody's favorite. So let me go call them up, we're gonna eat and then we're gonna be able to sit around and do our school for the evening. Okay, favorites. Maddie said the Milky Way. What do they taste like? White chocolate? That does not say Milky Way. Oh, Milky Bar. <laughs> Maddie's favorite. Steven, you got a favorite? He likes the gummies. The random gummies. That was Steven's favorite. I like the creams. Oh, digestive creams. No. Is that really what that <laughs> is? It says digestive creams. Those were Autumn's favorite. Wait, you know what? I like the Jaffa cakes. Brooklyn likes the Jaffa. What are they called? Jaffa or Jaffa? Oh, those Jaffa are Jaffa cakes. These are like the chocolate orange. Who else? At least, what's your favorite? Green. The root. You like those? Yeah. Do you like gumdrops? Uh, yeah. Okay, so she likes these. Jaden, do you have a favorite? 
I like, my favorite was the Guinness chips. Those were pretty. Those were, the Guinness chips were good, and I really, I like these ones, the cheddar and spring onion chips. Do you got a favorite, Jensen? Yeah. Maxine, do you got a favorite? She's like something. They like, he likes, you like these ones, right? Are these your favorite? He liked these right here. So delicious. All right, go to trytreats.com and get yourself a box. I had to come outside here. So the kids and I, um, we did our group time together, getting that finished, and then they've all dispersed, and now they're off doing their individual school, and then they're almost done. I said, well, if you don't get finished tonight, you're gonna have to work tomorrow, and they're like, we're gonna get it done. So they're getting it done. It was a good day. It was a great day today. We got to do a field trip. They love you. They love you. She knows. She's here. <laughs> So I'm gonna go, it's been a good day. It's been a good day. It's been a good day today. Now we're gonna finish up. It's been a great day. Field trip, school, making meals. It's been a great day, good family day. Just gonna end our night, get some sleep, and it's the weekend. So you have a fantastic rest of your day. Remember, you are designed, created, and selected by God to do great, wonderful things. And I will see you guys again tomorrow with another video. So see you tomorrow, bye.